Hey there, I'm Chris Dukic, and today I'm going to show you how to create content for your digital signage by adding media in Digital Signage Manager. It's as easy as one, two, three to get a digital sign up and running. First, we add media, then we create a playlist of that media, and or we could create a broadcast to show media at a certain time frame or indefinitely, and then we tag that to any number of screens. And let's jump into it. So. If you're not already there, point your browser to manager.displaynow.io and head over to the media tab. You'll see your media off the bat. I have a bunch in here, here already. I can see the names. I can see the active playlists. If there's a group associated with it, we'll get into that on the other another video. Uh, status, if it is enabled or disabled, I can broadcast media. So that will let me send it directly to one or more screens should I choose that option. I can change the group, I can edit the media, and I can delete it. In this video, we're going to go through adding media. So when you click add media, you got a number of options here. Canva Designer is a wonderful design tool that is easy to use. Anybody can pick it up and learn and create amazing graphics in no time, and it's free. It also has a pro plan, which gives you unbeatable value in terms of premium graphics and imagery and all that. Highly recommend it. I use it myself and uh, can't say enough about it. And we'll show you that in just a moment. For those that have their own designers, some companies do, right? Uh, you can upload your own images and or videos. And what we'll do is process that and optimize it for smooth streaming on your devices. So when you upload an image or video, uh, we process that and make that ready for signage. Google Slides is a wonderful option if you are a school, a gym, any sort of organization that has to update content on a regular basis, hook in Google Slides and you set it and you forget it. And then all you have to do is update the Google Slides. And every time it cycles through a playlist or a broadcast, it automatically updates the content. It's wonderful. Check it out. PDF slides. If you would rather upload a PDF or convert a PowerPoint into a PDF, you can do that and it will cycle through the various pages of a PDF. PowerPoint, Office 365, Microsoft 365, whatever it's called now, uh, lets you select a PowerPoint directly from your OneDrive. And uh, once again, that loads uh, and refreshes every time, just like Google Slides, another wonderful option. We've got some basics down here. We've got the clock, display now clock. Uh, coming soon, you'll be able to change the branding on that. We have the weather, web pages. So, you know, if you have a website that is not behind a login, you can show it on a screen. And typically, the one hang up with that is that some, some web pages don't allow for embedding in an iframe. So it won't work on the web player that I have on the right hand side, but it will work in most cases on the player app itself. You can also select YouTube video, Vimeo, social wall from walls.io, and SCADA, which is this wonderful scheduling system, uh, should you need that type of thing. And really, that's just a web page that we're showing, and we have uh, uh, that set up there. So a lot of options, and you can search if you so choose. Um, and in this video, we're going to do a quick Canva designer. So you can either come from canva.com and save the design back to manager with your login, or you can come here and we're gonna click uh, the desired orientation. So if you have your screens on a normal basis like this, you can choose landscape. If you've rotated them, you can do a portrait uh, design as well. So we click design on Canva, it launches the Canva designer. All right. So say we're a um, gym. You click a template. And just like that, you can customize it. When I'm bored, I'll open a gym. And it's as easy as that. Like they have wonderful templates and you can save that back directly to display now. One thing of note, you don't want to change that name in the Canva 
that will break the linkage. So you want to keep that the same uh, before you link. And if you can't see it, you'll click down here and you'll see display now with the other icons in this menu under more. But since we've done it before, it, it remembers. And I've already signed in. It might prompt you to sign in. If you've already signed in a manager, it's just going to be a quick window that pops up and closes. And then we prepare the design. Awesome. And now we can go back to Display Now Manager. If we need to edit it again, we can click Edit, and I'll take us right back to the designer. So once we've got that done, we can select what screen to send it to and how long we want to show it for. And then when we're ready, we can click Save and Edit Playlist. One thing here, if you have a large number of media or screens, we allow you to create folders for each, and that allows you to just stay organized. So we'll click Save and Edit. And boom, just like that, we've got a design sent to our screens in real time. And we can adjust the timing, the duration, the order. And it's really up to you. It's super flexible. All media can be reused across multiple playlists, broadcast, and you can send it to one or more screens. And it, the solution scales incredibly well. So that is creating media with Display Now. Digital Signage Manager. Thanks for watching.